Hello everybody on YouTube, um, I'm tonight, or this morning, going to show everybody how to solve um, the X's on a Rubik's Cube three different ways, okay? You have the regular way, which most people know how to do, I mean, most people know how to do that even if they know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. And then you have the two other ways that I'm going to show you. One is a corner version. And then one is the uh, edge version. Um, well, here is the regular version, so you know what I'm talking about. Um, this is when you make the X's on a Rubik's Cube, or crosses. Some people call them crosses. Um, checkerboard. <laughs> There's all different names for them. Um, as you can see, it's six X's. Um, it's very important to know this uh, before I do this, that... 6 turns into 0, 4 turns into 2, 2 turns into 4. Now I'm going to explain to you what that means in a minute. Okay? As you can see, it's 6 X's. Okay? Like I said, there's a lot of people who know how to do this, but don't know how to solve a cube. So this is actually pretty easy to learn. Okay? I'll do that one more time real quick. I've been playing with a Rubik's Cube since I'm 12 years old. I'm 43 now, so it's 31 years. I learned it when I was 12. You know, I, I wish I could learn all the Rubik's Cubes. I wish I can learn. I can find somebody that knows all the Rubik's Cubes and they would sit me down like I'm a child and teach me every cube. I would love it to learn every cube. I don't care if I have the fastest speed. This is this is so I can know how to solve every cube. Um, here, I'll do this again. I'll do it in the camera. So for people out there that don't know how to do this, I mean... I know there's a lot of people that do know how to do this. Okay, this is like I said, this is the okay. All right, now I'm gonna show you the second version. This is the corner version. Um, how to do this? A lot of people don't know how to do this. Um, even the ones that do know how to do the X's, uh, these other versions. Um, I I came up with these versions because I was bored one day and. You know, I'm sick and tired of solving the cube all the time. I've solved it a million times. Um, this is the corner version, okay? And what you basically do is you pick any side, any any color. We'll take the white and yellow, for example, okay? So now what we do is we take, we go twice, okay? I like to do it at the side that's in front of me. You go twice, okay? Then again, twice on that side. Basically, it's an L formation, okay, twice, and then twice, okay? Then you take the two white that's on you, on that side, and you put it on your side, if you want to keep on doing it that way, and you just go twice, 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 twice. Now, as you can see, the yellow solved and the white solved. Okay, as you can see, the the other four are not. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because in the beginning, when I said six is zero, four is two, two is four. The reason why I'm saying that is because if you try to solve this right now, the same way you would solve the first way of doing it, what would happen would be these two that are solved, the white and yellow, would turn 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 X and then the four X's would turn into solved ones so you'd have basically two X's you have two you see what I'm saying four turns into two so 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 you know that um so we'll continue doing this uh, you just do the same thing you picked up I'll just pick the red and the orange doesn't really matter um, do the same thing you can, you can do it twice it doesn't matter if you go forward or backwards as long as it's two um, I'll try to get it in the camera as best I can. Um, okay. And then you turn this around again. And then, again, you just go two, 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 and then two. And as you can see, there's four solve ones. Four solve size or four solve colors. And then there's the two that's not solved. So again... 2 turns into 4, 4 turns into 2. If you solve it like this the way that you would do the original one, what would happen would be 
you already know it already. These four would turn to X's and these two X's would turn to cell ones. Leaving you with what? Four X's. <laughs> so, okay. Now to get this back to a cell cube, you do the same thing. You take these ones that are, that are X's and you go two, two, two. Just as long as it's in, it's in an L formation. Two, two. And then it leaves you with this. And basically it's the same thing on, on both sides. Okay? And then you turn it towards you like this. You know, and then do the same thing. Two. It's very simple. Two, 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 two. And that's how you do it from the corner version. Okay, that's the second version. Now I'm going to show you the third version of how to solve the X's uh, without solving it the regular way. There's actually an edge version. Okay, I'm going to first do the X's the regular way. I can actually bring it to the X's too without doing it. I can do it either way. Um, now, this is the edge version. The edge version is basically what you do is, well, since you already know that the orange... So you already know the red and yellow goes right here. So that's right here. So you just flip this like this, okay? Then you go like this, and you go around like this, then you turn this like this, and then up like this, okay? Like this, okay? And then you go around like this. No, I'll take it back, that stays over there. Like this, and then you go back this way. Like this. See? And then like this. And there it is. That's how you do it the edge way. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the X's the edge way. Okay? Using the edge version. Okay. It's a little more difficult doing it this way, but it still can be done. See, that's how you would do it if you're gonna if you're gonna make the X's with the edge version, and then I'll just solve it the regular way with the X's, the traditional way. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the X's with the corner version because I didn't show you how to do that one. And basically, you just do the same thing. You go two at a time, two on the side, two towards you, two until you get this configuration where you have this this um thing, and then you just turn around like this, just like you were gonna solve it, and you just do the same thing. And this is a good trick to play on somebody because let's say you find somebody that does know how to do the X's the regular way, you can throw this at them and say, hey, here, do this one. And if they do it that way, you, like I said, these two will solve and then the other four will turn on the X's. So, <laughs> it's a good trick to play on somebody, just so you know that. Um, and then you just keep on doing it the same way. You just keep on doing it like this, see? You keep on messing around with it. Um... And then the same thing. You just keep on doing that. That L that L formation. And then see I'll I'll do it and I'll do it like this so you can see it. I don't know if you can see it that good. And there it is, there's the X's. So and I'll just solve it the regular way that most people will know how to do. Um so there it is. That that's basically all three versions of how to solve the X's and to make the X's. Okay. Um, if you come up with another version that I don't know about, that um, let me know. <laughs> um, give me a comment. You know, like it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it entertained you. Like I said, I've been, I've been playing with Rubik's Cube for 31 years. So, I hope somebody out there actually liked this video and, and enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching.